It's been worse since the clocks have changed. Not even coming on when it's meant to. Two radiators downstairs don't come on at all since about last month, but was working fine October, November. Radiators upstairs won't get as warm as normal or stay on for as long. Our bedroom radiator leaking, so Grant's turned it off, but only since David showed Grant how to open it from side. Anything else? No. Oh dear. But she's a bit demanding, eh? Yeah, but she's, <laughs> she's coming back in a bit. She's just gone to her horses. Right, okay, okay. So if you I'm going to have to take that list from me because I forgot what you were saying after the first three words. But my husband's coming as well. He's supposed to be building a shed for her. Okay. Right. So we know we've got a problem with the mid position valve. Pins turning all the way around. Actuator was disconnected as we open the cupboard. The problem we've got is, is a couple of radiators are not working. So this will have an impact on the flow to radiators. We're going to bung the tank and replace that. Has the zone valves got, has the TRV valves. Are they causing a problem? Or is it down to just this? Is it going to be two drain downs or is it going to be one drain down? Check that with a magnet. It's a real good sign you've got a blockage or something. Seems okay. I'm going to try and bung this. I don't really want to drain it anyway. It's open. It's fully open. I'd say this is a mid position valve issue, being this is two lock shields. We all tracked him back on itself, didn't it? It's not quite the best. Right, yeah, I'll be honest with you, but yeah. the thing with central heating is you can massively pipe it wrong, but it will still work yeah. in a yeah, way yeah, if that yeah. makes yeah. sense, if yeah. you know what I mean. So yeah. you see all sorts of things, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't know how to set the, the timer and stuff in there and on the, on the thing there. Set I'll set that, there. but what you'll find, what you'll probably on. find at the minute is, it ain't gonna work anyway. It ain't gonna work because that thing ain't working. The mid position valve's broke. Mike, come and check something off, and he was gonna bring a part, but he's never come back to do it. That's that probably what it is. Yeah, he's obviously. probably looked at it to be honest with you. Yeah. It looks like a bit of a nightmare to try and, because it's already leaked and sealed up and everything. Can you do that? I can do it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a problem. Fifteen minutes max on the way back, quick as you can. Carry on, wherever it costs, just do it. Okay, no problems. Yeah, just, just that part, no, So, we've just come in the loft to bung the tank. As we got up, we saw this monstrosity, which is Selkirk flu, wrapped up. This is going to an open flu boiler downstairs. And looking up there, it doesn't look too good. However, we just wanted to have a little nosy at the top. So when you wrap a flue like this, people do this to keep the flue gases warm, keep the flue warm. So fumes will rise, warm air rises. However, when you smoke on a chimney or smoke on a flue, you're unable to inspect the actual integrity of the flue because it's been wrapped. So I just wanted to have a little nosy just to see what was going on. And if you look just up there, we can see the flu is not even connected. So it's pointless changing a mid position valve on an old boiler like this, that it's not even connected. It's not even safe.
可吗？It's pointless spending X amount of money to replace a flue on that through its entirety. Um, go on the roof, put a new ridge tile on and new flue and everything when the boiler's going to be obsolete. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you put, in all honesty, you're probably just better off ripping it all out and fitting a combi. It will be much cheaper for you to run. And how much is that going to be? Um, to get all that. 